Welcome to Oathsworn Training Camp, an unofficial series of videos dedicated to the upcoming board game Oathsworn Into the Deepwood by Shadowborn Games. These videos aren't intended to replace the rulebooks, but they should help you get familiar with many of the core mechanics. Of course, we'll start with basic concepts which you may already know, such as battle flow and might cards. But I'm especially looking forward to later on when we'll delve into the real nitty gritty of combat, such as enemy movement, ranged attacks, line of sight, forced movement, and much more. It's worth taking the time to get comfortable with these core rules, because many of them are used right from the very first chapter of the campaign. Mastering these rules should also help you to handle any game components which have additional rules and abilities, such as the special rules board and the character ability cards. There won't be any spoilers, so we'll use level 1 cards which are already unlocked at the very start of the campaign. However, I won't pretend there isn't an enormous rat splashed all over the box lid, the Kickstarter page, and every other Oathsworn video on YouTube. We'll need a large enemy to pick a fight with, so that will be our friend Ratty McRatface. And speaking of spoilers, I suggest that you be careful what you flip through when you're excitedly unboxing your new game, because there are spoilers everywhere. Not just the obvious places like the storybook and sealed envelopes, but also the encounter book, the journal, and most of the cards. Actually, it's probably safest to assume that everything is a spoiler and just not open the box at all. Despite the title of this video, I won't be offering any hints or tips related to strategy, because discovering that on your own is one of the great joys of exploring a new board game. Shadowborn Games helpfully provided me with a copy of the finalised rulebooks, and naturally I'll do my best to present accurate information. But if I make any errors, I'll correct them in the description below the video. Now, before we get into all those rules, let's take a quick look at some of the reasons why this game is easily one of my most highly anticipated games of the year. I'm not a big fan of excessive hype, so I'll try to keep my enthusiasm in check, but I can't resist pointing out a few of my favourite features of the game. If you'd rather skip ahead to the rules, check out the next video. First up is the hefty story journal. I'm a big fan of narrative games, especially when they go beyond just flavour text, and offer branching narrative, exploration, puzzles, and integrated gameplay. I find that the writing style in some board games can be a little sparse, so it's refreshing that Oathsworn's prose is so evocative and so well written. For example, when you open the story rulebook, here's the first paragraph on the inside cover. Civilization was not destroyed by the hammer of war the gnawing of plague, or the slow decay of time. It was strangled, choked by root and rot, until these cursed woods became its grave shroud. No one remembers the time before. Fablemen say there was safety then. Those days are gone. The trees have consumed the land, the great cities that survived the coming of the Dark Age now stand alone, islands, in a sea of death. And so on. In case you hadn't noticed, you're signing up for Dark Fantasy. That sample leads neatly into the next standout feature, which is James Freakin' Cosmo, who will be doing the audio narration in the app. Quite apart from his fantastic acting talents, I happen to think that his accent and even the timbre of his voice are such a good fit for the world of Oathsworn, it's ridiculous. Next we have the artwork and cartography. There's not much I can say here. If the art on the Kickstarter page doesn't blow your socks off, then I can't help you. There's no shortage of mystery in the world of Oathsworn. Most of the game is kept locked away when you start, and even the miniatures are hidden inside boxes. There's always something new to discover, whether you're exploring the cities, uncovering the narrative, or opening mystery envelopes. Next is replayability, which should be excellent. For a start, the narrative is deeply branching, and will keep offering new story paths to explore. On top of that, there are 12 unique characters to combine in different ways. In fact, there are nearly 8,000 different ways you can combine full characters and companions to make up your free company. Next is variety. Whereas some dungeon crawlers fall into a rut of kill monsters, grab loot, rinse and repeat, Oathsworn will offer lots of interesting variations. All the hero characters have their own deck of action cards with strengths in different areas. The battles are also quite varied, since each enemy has its own deck of 15 stage cards, as well as unique behaviours described on the special rules board. Oathsworn offers plenty of fun gameplay mechanics. 
One standout example is Battleflow, whereby playing one of your ability cards will put it out of reach for a while, but at the same time will nudge other cards closer to returning to your hand. And then there are the Might Dice and Might Cards, which provide fun mechanics such as pushing your luck, empowering dice, and chaining critical hits. In battle, players definitely have a lot of control and plenty of opportunities to make tactical decisions. Just one example is the way the next enemy AI card is revealed before you take your turn, which may influence the actions you choose to take. Ideally, the outcome of an encounter will be based largely on how well you played rather than how lucky you were. Being fully cooperative, the game is already quite solo friendly, and as we'll see shortly, there are even more concessions to solo players, which is great. On the battlefield, you can look forward to some pretty nail-biting moments. With good planning and a bit of luck, you can execute all kinds of theatrical stunts such as leaping between treetops, slamming enemies into each other, headbutts, backflips, spellcasting, and much more. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I'd wager that either you backed the game on Kickstarter, or you are currently kicking yourself for not having done so. And I must admit that I do sympathise, because I'm a stone-cold master at missing Kickstarters. Unfortunately, I have no inside information regarding the game's availability, so I won't even attempt to offer any advice. You'll just have to settle for my commiserations. With that out of the way, let's finally get into the rules. In the next video, we'll meet the free company and make sure they're armed and dangerous before we send them out onto the battlefield.